only on two. One woman is now speaking out about the Chicago area doctor she says sexually abused her and betrayed her trust. She is one of hundreds in a lawsuit against the doctor. The case is against OBGYN Fabio Ortega and the hospital systems he worked for. CBS 2's Tara Molina joins us now. Tara, you're pressing the state for answers. Exactly, Joe and Erica, and we're still pressing this evening. 77-year-old Dr. Fabio Ortega pled guilty to sexually abusing two patients in October of 2021, and he went to prison. But he's been out since the fall, and now we're learning the abuse allegedly, allegedly spanned decades. The women abused say they spoke up again and again, but nothing happened. How is that possible? And what are those overseeing our hospital systems doing now? I'm still asking. Sitting down with us more than 20 years after she first walked into Dr. Fabio Ortega's exam room at Swedish Hospital, having just immigrated to the United States in the final trimester of her pregnancy. El momento because I feel that I'm very much still living through this and going through the emotions. You won't see her face, but she told me it's important you listen to the translator helping share her story. She says Dr. Ortega took advantage of her vulnerability, not only as a woman desperate for care at the end of her pregnancy, but as a woman referred to him by a community health clinic. During the first visit, I can just sense something that he wasn't doing something right. The feeling never went away. The first time he ever touched me to examine me was without gloves. But she needed care. I was simply exposed. We aren't sharing the more intimate details of her story, but she did have the strength to speak up to a female hospital staffer. I told a woman that I did not feel comfortable. Requesting a chaperone. She says that hospital staffer told her to talk to Dr. Ortega. Perhaps she was scared of losing her job. All these years later, still hard to talk about. But she didn't hear me. Now being heard through this as one of 300 women behind a lawsuit filed against the hospitals where Fabio Ortega worked, North Shore and Swedish, now under Endeavor Health and Ortega. Telling me speaking out is her way of giving her past self a hug while making sure no woman goes through what she did. Now, we are still waiting on clear answers tonight, so we will continue to dig into this, working to learn who knew what, when, and what is in place to prevent this kind of abuse. A spokesperson for Endeavor Health told me they can't respond to my direct questions due to pending legal matters and patient privacy, but you can read their full statement where you can learn more about this lawsuit in the story that's online right now. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Joan Erica. Tara, thank you.